I had to. Yeah, I kind of had to. If you've seen the title of the video, you guys know what you're getting yourselves in for. More debating. How's everyone doing, first of all, though? It's Boyer Paul from Down, Down, Up, Up. Die Hard 2. Is it a Christmas movie? Now, before we get into this, let's go back a year ago. I watched the first Die Hard for the first time ever, and I really had nothing to say but good things about it. But I put the debate to bed very quickly. It wasn't a Christmas movie. It was a movie based around, like, based around the time Christmas is going on. It wasn't a Christmas movie. Die Hard 2. Um, I'll say this. It was actually more of a Christmas movie than the first one, but not by a whole lot. It had a little Christmassy at the bare beginning of it and a little baby bit of it near the end of it. It's not. Die Hard 2 isn't a Christmas movie. But does that mean it's bad? No. Does that mean it's good? Yeah. Does that mean it's as good as the original? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ah. Yeah. I, and this may have been my mistake. I went into this movie with my expectations like the first movie. Because like the first movie, I went into this blind and it was good. But does it live up to the first movie? No, it doesn't. Sorry. The first movie just had so much right with it. Characters, stories, side plots, music, mood, just everything fell into place so quickly. Die Hard 2, it did, but not really on the same level. Yeah, I'm struggling with this one. And before we really jump in, I'm not really thinking this is going to be long anyway. You guys got to remember the title of this one. The, what is my tongue doing? You guys got to remember the title of this video, the actual video that you're watching right now with me in it. Is Die Hard 2 a Christmas movie? You notice that review is not put up anywhere. I didn't really go into detail last year about the first movie. I just went into some of the importances of it for me and regarding whether or not it's a Christmas movie. I don't necessarily want to review this movie, but I want to talk a little bit more about it. So, John's waiting for his wife to land in the airport, and we've got the whole terrorist situation again. And yes, they've basically hijacked the airport, but not as badass as Alan Rickman's team did in the first Die Hard. They're doing it basically from an abandoned church miles away. And... John's got to get things together and find the right people to talk to and stop these bums because we got some serious problems going on, which I liked it. I liked the airport uh, area. That was a cool idea for it. Um, would I have uh, used, I don't want to say an abandoned airport because that really wouldn't have worked for this situation, but I wanted them to take over the airport similar to the first movie. And John handle business once again, hiding wherever you could in a big airport. I just had so many ideas like that when I started the movie, because I'm picturing how it would look in the airport closest to me. And, oh my goodness, they could do something here in the main terminal. They could carry it into the luggage areas, and then just the hardest places to hide. It wasn't really like that. And it sort of let me down so much to say I do not want to watch any of the other Die Hard movies. I pushed myself to do this one. I pushed myself to do this one because I was thinking, I know it's not going to be as good as the first, but as long as it sort of copies things from the first, I think that's what I'm going to like about it, but it didn't. And honestly, for the most part, it was easy to see where the swerves were going to be for this movie. Because I was expecting someone to turn, someone to be on the sides of the terrorists, and it was exactly who I thought it was going to be. So, that didn't really do it too much justice. I'll, if I'll, I'll say one positive thing, though. Bruce Willis was fantastic. His character was so much more whiny in this one, which did it for me, but didn't stop him from taking care of business like you do. And the police chief he was trying to work with was a real pain in the butt. Um... But I do like how they kind of came 
together near the end of it, though, when John finally gets his full support and what's going on, what do they have to do? That was cool. Um, would I have used more characters from the original? I definitely would have used the cop that he had been talking to from inside the building in the first movie more. He was in this, but only for a brief period while John was uh, faxing him some fingerprints. I wish he would have been doing more with him in this. That would have made it more worthy for me because their relationship in the first movie is fantastic. I would have loved to see them together in more movies. I know, again, I know there's a third one. I think there's a fourth one at this part. Isn't the fourth one... Um, oh, God, no, I'm thinking of the third one, Die Hard... It doesn't have a number. It's not Die Hard 3. It's Die Hard a title, and I, I don't think I'm going to watch it. But again, I pushed myself to do this one, and now I know if I ever get the jitters, I just got to watch the first movie again. I've only seen it once. Frankly, I'm not going to complain if I never see it again, but if I just have that craving for this kind of action, I need to just rewatch the first one again and enjoy every second of it. Because it's not like I can remember in details what happens here, 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 and here. I'll say one thing, though. The way he gets them at the end in this one did it for me. Um, and obviously delivering the yippee Kaye line that, uh, I mean, how could you not? So yeah, I don't hate Die Hard 2, but it did let me down. Um, not really regarding Bruce Willis' performance at all. It just didn't do it for me. And I think I'm going to be giving up on this franchise as a whole, moving forward to anything that I could get my hands on. I'm just going to stick with the first movie. I really want to watch something like this because i honestly after watching die hard 2 all i want to do is watch the first one again that's the jitter i have right now i don't think you guys have heard me this off tone before about something but that's just how i feel about this movie i watched it i was content but i really just want to watch the first movie again that's what does it i guess on a side note uh they botched they seriously botched um the villains in this one alan rickman is so good in the first one they should have realized the importance of getting someone 10 out of 10 for this one. I'm not really putting down who played the villains. They were okay, but just nothing compared to the first movie. But I'm not going to drag into this too much longer. I don't want this to go into 10 minutes or anything. Bottom line, not a Christmas movie. Last time I'm going to be talking about Die Hard on the channel, most likely. And watching the second one, if I need to make up minds for any of you all watching me right now, I'm going to do you a favor. Watch the first movie. Stick to the first movie. That's all. See you guys later. Definitely getting back into the real Christmassy stuff, but I knew I had to do this. I'm happy it's done. Keep it real. Yeah, I'm still here. What about it?